Hello, my name is Robert Dean Steele, and this is your daily Bible class. Well, we found ourselves in the book of 2 Peter. We're looking at verse uh, chapter 3, and we're looking at the last few verses. We're starting at verse number 14, and we're going to end up in verse number 18. What a great portion of Scripture it is. So there, my dear friends, since you are looking forward to this, make every effort to be found three ways, spotless, blameless, and at peace with Him. Now, Peter has been talking about what's going to be happening in the future. And he says, in regards to what you all heard and what you have received, there are three things that you want in your life. Number one, you want to be without spot. You want to be without stain. You want to be unpolluted by this world. Next, you want to live a blameless life. No one can lay any accusation, any charge at your door. You'll be like Jesus. When Jesus was being accused, he didn't open his mouth. But at the end of the day, Jesus was blameless before the Lord and received the reward of those that are blameless. And lastly, be at peace with him. There is nothing more fantastic than to be at peace with God to have that absence of personal conflict in warfare in your life, and then also to be at peace with God, being one with God through Jesus Christ. He says, bear in mind that the Lord's patience means salvation, just as our dear brother Paul also wrote to you with the wisdom that God gave him. So here is Peter simply affirming and confirming the ministry of Paul. He says, Paul wrote these things with wisdom in, in his way, in the, the way that God gave him. He says, the Lord's patience is right now being given to you. It's not always going to be there. But while it is there, live your life pleasing to God. Be like Jesus in your world. Let the power and the anointing of God be demonstrated in your life by the things that you think, by the way that you talk, by the way that you live, your motives and attitudes, the faithfulness that you have to God, the perseverance that you have, all the things that Peter has been talking about in previous chapters and, ver and, and books. He says, in the same way, in his letters, speaking in them these matters, his letters contain some things that are hard to understand, which ignorant and unstable people distort, as they do other scriptures to their own destruction. Again, he says, Paul has written some things that people have dismissed, they don't believe, they've distorted, but it's to their own destruction. Here is Peter confirming the ministry of Paul. Even though Paul in the, in the city of Galatia Con, uh, basically confronted him about his lifestyle. You see, Peter had the right attitude towards brothers and sisters in Christ. He did not put down the ministry of someone else. There are people out there who put down other ministries all the time. They attack them because they don't agree with their particular philosophical or theological position. Not Peter. And this is a great way for us to be. We should be confirming the ministry of others instead of condemning the ministries of others. Then he goes on to say this. All of these things that they did, these individuals who spoke against Paul, they did it to their own destruction. But then he closes off, and these next two verses are so fantastic. And I want to close with them today. Therefore, dear friends, since you have been forewarned and put on your guard, he says, you've been warned, you've been put on your guard, you're not ignorant on this matter. He says, you will not be carried away by the error of lawless and fall in from your own secure position. He says, right now you have a security in Jesus Christ. Your security is because you believe the truth. And you are living the truth. And because you're living the truth, you will not be carried away by lawless living, by lawless theology, lawless philosophy, or lawless half-truth. You will stay secure. And then he closes it off by saying, but grow. And he wants you to grow. He wants you to take that seed of the Word of God and take it and begin to grow in it. He says, grow in the grace and knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today, grow in that grace. 
Grow in that unmerited favor. Grow in that knowledge. Grow in that, that wonderful power. Grow in the knowledge of Him and the grace of Him. Know that God wants to teach you so much more. And then He closes it off by saying, To Him be glory, both now and forever. Amen. Let God be glorified in your life. Your one aim should be to glorify God. Your one aim should be to have the essence, the character, and as well, the nature of God. Working in your life and situation. God's going to help you with it. You're going to receive it. And you're going to become the believer that God wants you to be. Think about that today. My name is Robert Dean Steele. This is your daily Bible class. You have yourself a great and godly day.